Hey guys, this is Coop back again from GarageGymReviews.com and today I'm going to be doing a comparison between two deadlift jacks. The first one is the full on standard deadlift jack, the one that takes up a lot of space and is quite expensive and then the other is something new that's come out and something that I received for review and that is the Genesis deadlift jack. Let me show you the differences. Okay, so deadlift jacks obviously aren't necessary. You can put the weight on if you want without a deadlift jack. People have been doing it for centuries. But deadlift jacks make it easier. And the standard deadlift jack is this one right here. This one is actually from Titan Fitness. Many other companies make them, Rogue Fitness and many others. I'm not really worried about the quality of a deadlift jack, so I just went ahead and got this one. That said, the differences between this and the Rogue version, at least from what I've seen, aren't that big, okay? But this one, basically the idea is that you prop a bar up, and I'll just grab one real quick. Okay, so to start putting weight on the bar, you basically set it within the, I don't know what you'd call those, sleeves, and then add your weight. The idea is that it takes the bar and props it up just slightly so you can put the weight on. Now I'll put the other weight on. Then you pull it off and put it back on. So when you start deadlifting a lot of weight, as there's a lot of people that deadlift in the you know 700s, 600s, 800s, those sort of numbers, and you're using calibrated plates, it gets just annoying to keep having to pick the bar up and put the weight on. But the issue is this deadlift jack is huge. It's not only big, but it's also pretty expensive. And it has one purpose, and that is to lift the bar off the ground. If there was a better way, many people would choose it. And in fact, they have because Rogue, Titan, and many other companies have come up with just a basic deadlift jack that goes on one side and you prop it up. Now, those are a little bit heavier. They take up more space. They're not very portable because of how heavy they are. And they're a little expensive. And that's where the Genesis jack comes in. For that is because it uses an all aluminum construction. So as you can see, it's super thin. Now, aluminum is obviously very strong. And when you think about the deadlift jack being used, all the weight is just being put straight down. There's no lateral movement or anything like that. So a standard post should work. Now when you hold this, it's actually kind of surprising that it works because it's so light. In fact, aluminum is just super light. It's very thin. And other than the aluminum, it just has some basic you know, plastic to protect the knurling on the bar. So the idea behind it is you grab it on the handle. You, know, you can kind of see that it has the cutout there. Grab it. Stick it under and then pull back. Now this can surprisingly hold a lot of weight and the reason for that is because how rigid it is up and down. Now side to side, I wouldn't want to do much with it because it could fold in half. But when it's just up and down, it works great. Now something else about the deadlift jack that's a little unique are these little teeth on the front. And the reason for those teeth is so they drive into whatever surface you're using on to pull against the bar. So in this case, I'm on a platform, so it's either rubber or wood. These are essential. If these weren't here, this would probably slide and it wouldn't work as well. But that said, it's because they're not super aggressive teeth, they're not gonna like damage the rubber or the wood or anything like that, at least in my experience. So you just pull it on. Those allow you to grip and to pull back. It's a nice feature, and I'm glad they thought of it. Now, if you're looking to get a deadlift jack, you really only have three options, as I said before. These are two of your main options, and I think most people, traditionally, they go something like this. Now, although I'm a fan of this, it does get in the way, and it serves one purpose, and that's to pull the bar off the ground so I can put weight on it. I don't think this is the most functional idea. If you're running some powerlifting competition or you know, you're a powerlifter with world record deadlift and you really don't like changing out the weight in between sets, then I think something like this is fine or you have a commercial facility. But for most people, especially home gym owners, I would definitely suggest something like this over something as big and as expensive as this. This is gonna cost more, it's gonna take up more space in a home gym which Let's be honest, space is probably the most precious thing in your home gym. And this, one, it's portable, you can take it anywhere. It's so light, you can put it in your bag. And two, it takes up no space at all. And three, it actually looks good. This thing looks like, you know, kind of crappy, maybe because it's Titan. Rogues may look a little bit better, but this looks great. 
it functions just as well and stays out of the way. That said, you're gonna have to do one side at a time when you change out the weight. This one, you just put it on and do both sides at the same time. Now, although I'm a fan of the Genesis now, although I'm a fan of the Genesis Jack, there are some things that I would change about it. First off, is this plastic that you see right here. This is what's called UMHW, I believe is what it's called, plastic. This is what they use on J-cups to protect your knurling, things like that. They put it on here, which is a great idea, but the issue is, there's not much there, okay? So, as you can see, that could easily be worn down and you would just be resting a bar on the aluminum, which could hurt the neural, especially when you got a ton of weight on it. So, although you can probably buy inserts and switch this out, I would definitely think that they should put more on there to protect the knurling and to make it last longer. The second thing is how unstable it is side to side. Now, I understand it's aluminum, so that's kind of one thing that comes with aluminum is it's light, but it's not as rigid side to side because of how thin it is. It'd be cool if maybe they made it a little bit thicker. It wouldn't add a whole lot of weight, and then it'd have more, I guess, stability side to side. The third thing is this handle. Now the handle looks awesome, but it's just a thin piece of aluminum. If they would have added some more plastic and made like a comfort style handle that really wraps around the hand that you can grab and then pull back, that would be great. That said, for the first version, you know, the MVP minimum viable product, this is an awesome piece of equipment and definitely something I would suggest to any home gym owner that wants a deadlift jack, okay? If you want a deadlift jack, you don't have a lot of space, this is the one I'd get. The price is great, it looks great, it's portable, doesn't take up a lot of space, and gets the job done. This has been Coop from GarageGymReviews.com. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, let me know what you think about it in the comment section, and we'll see you next time. Peace.